Hey everyone, Jamie Phillips, Action Auto Parts, and I just made a deal on both of these trucks. This one's got a bad rusty around the A-frame, so it's been off the road a couple years. The other one runs. Uh, actually, I could get a title to it, but I told him I just, I get more of it parting it out than I can uh, trying to flip it. So I told him he can just, as long as he'll drive it to the junkyard and I'll get Pittman bring his snatch truck up here and grab his Ford. I just now noticed it's got a back tar flat on it. We may have to do something about that. But anywho, uh, maybe I'll bring his road back. That might be the best. But uh, especially since that other side over is about to fall off of it. I wanted to do a real quick one here. And then we'll get him uh, back to the yard. I'll do some more to follow up on. Hey, everyone. Jamie Phillips here. Action Auto Parts. And so, Peg, we got uh, cherry pickers on each side of the bed and uh, lifting it up. And then I guess when they get it up here, I'll get the, I'll get the uh, black bed around there in the front and we'll get that thing pulled out of the way and then it's ready for my customer to come and pick it up. And that's just uh, another day another day of redneck engineering slash shade tree mechanics. Alrighty, so Peg's boy Cameron jumped up in the old red and white F-250 and the bed is now safely sitting on the ground and we pulled what's left of the truck there. I got to yank this old HHR out of the way and get it up here on the hill somewhere where it needs to be and then we'll grab the tail end of this one and pull it around right beside that white uh e350 the old former uh u-haul truck i still got to slide the tail end of that one around a little bit and uh i'll probably bring another maybe one more maybe put that ford ranger next to this one and then i guess because this gets a little steeper than it look actually looks right here uh, and then I guess we'll come up in here, kind of away from the driveway and start a third row and put a few Ford trucks right there as well. So uh, guys down there right now, pulling the mirrors off it at, at uh, 87 F350. And then on the 86, that black roof, he took uh, like a voltage regulator and uh, a little piece of wiring and stuff off of it uh, for a truck he's working on. And then he's asked about those mirrors and I priced them and he's taking them. So I'm surprised them mirrors lasted as long as they did because I had several people ask about them and they're in really, really good shape, but nobody had stepped up. And I, I saw them cheap, but you know, that's what this stuff's here for is to sell it. They don't sense them setting on it. But uh, so yeah, then got the, then the customer came and picked up an oil pan that Peg had taken off for him uh, from Lexington. He ran down, but he done paid for it. He come and got it, and uh, supposed to have a guy. The guy from Huntsville, Alabama, said he'd be here this morning to pick up his inner fenders. Peg's got them ready, and then I got another guy that's interested in the outer fenders on that '68 Impala. So hopefully both of them guys will show up. And uh, the one that's got the inner fenders is done paid for him, but he's talking about buying some other parts off of it. So hopefully we'll have a good day here today and on Saturday in the junkyard. So give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one.